To draw a Lewis dot diagram for potassium bromide, or KBr, the first thing you want to do is draw the symbols for the elements. So in this case, K and Br, and we're going to draw them side by side. The second thing you want to do is assign valence electrons to these elements. So K, potassium, has one valence electron. We'll put them right here. And then Br is in group 17. They all have seven valence electrons. So I give him seven valence electrons, which will look something like this. Now you'll notice something. K has one extra electron, Br has seven, and is missing one. And this actually works out really well, because this is an ionic bond. We know this because K is a metal, Br is a nonmetal. This is a give and a take. So I'm going to expect the K here to give an electron to the Br. And the outcome here is that K, being the metal, should have no valence electrons left. Bromine, because he's a nonmetal, should end up with an octet, or a set of eight. As a result, both atoms are going to get a charge. So we show that by drawing brackets around the K. We draw brackets around the Br, just like this. And then we keep track of who gave electrons and who took them. The K has given an electron away. That makes him a 1+. The Br has accepted that electron, which makes him a 1 minus. And you'll notice that everybody gets what they want. The K gave, which is what metals do. The bromine took and now has eight valence electrons, which is what nonmetals typically do.